derived from Aeliad, though I see a possible correlation to Daedric linguistic patterns. Who? Oh. Don't you know not to interrupt a sage when she's deep in concentration? Not yet. The master of the House of Reveries sent me his work. It relates to a similar language seen in the ruins of Eben Stadmont, but I only understand a little of it. Ancient languages and battle magic, to name just a few. Lathan betrayed us, and I don't trust him, but I've reached a dead end. I'll let the right master know what I proposed. Only if you want to guarantee that Lathan refuses to help us. Haven't you... Interesting. You weren't this attentive when our daughter actually needed you. Lathan, I... Oh. I need to go check on the knight anyway. Val, wait! Damn it. By the spinner's holy webs, when did I become an insufferable arse? Is this some new attempt at interrogation? If so, I'm not familiar with the technique. Intriguing. I've never seen this dialect before. I can translate it, but I need more to work with. I need to examine the original tablets found at Eben Stadmont. That will never happen, of course. You According to those notes, the writing is carved into a massive stone. I doubt you'd be able to carry it back here. All right, you've piqued my interest. Use this rune when you reach Eben Stadmont and I'll be able to see what you see. Nothing nefarious, if that's what you're asking. According to the scribblings of this grand maestro forte, Spinner's Web, that's a pompous title, the forest is a maze filled with all kinds of beasts and daedra. I don't see how that's relevant to our interactions, not in the least. Still, my words were spiteful, meant to hurt her. There was no need for me to open old wounds. You and Ikesis, always sticking your noses into places they don't belong. I suppose I can appreciate that, but kindness won't help you in the coming war. Fate, I... I'm not sure what emotions I feel right now, but when my daughter was dying, when she was crying for her mother's comfort, Val wasn't there. She was buried in her work, too busy or too frightened to spend those final moments with Ildaway. Nothing nefarious, if that's... Wherever could that blasted mercenary be? Hmm, rugged individual, obviously well-traveled. Yes, you should do quite nicely. And put simply, I found records of an ancient temple somewhere in this very forest. And I've come to study what secrets it may hold. Travelers become lost, sometimes for days. From what I heard, the forest appears to shift as you move through it. Thank you for accepting my offer. I'm quite excited to be heading my own expedition. Usually I work under Talinger, the artificer, but 
Sometimes he's a bit... much. Oh no, of course not. The Mage's Guild still requires me to accompany him on his expeditions. Well, being Telliger's assistant is informative in many ways, but I think... Yeah. working perfectly it's, it's almost I can, I can feel the powerful magic that permeates this place well, the maestro's notes said the ancient words were etched into a massive stone i expect you'll need to travel deeper into the forest to find the exact location i can't translate the words the right master heard until you find that stone i'm not your tour guide refer to the book and use the rune again when you locate the ancient writing. I don't mind. Yes, this is exactly what we're looking for. Why, it's almost as if I can hear the words. Sel, Ra, and Yond. Eastern Temple. Daedra? I don't have time for distractions. Could you hold them off while I finish translating? The inscription indicates that the temple is further up. Quick, follow me! Hello? I think we got separated!
Well, seems the rumors are true. Eben Stadmont truly does twist around you. Perhaps another inscription will help guide us. Have you found the inscription? Hmm. Not yet. But the inscription is nearby. I sense something else. The Grand Maestro mentioned Daedra, and I never imagined they'd belong to one of the patrons of the Court of Bedlam. An excellent question. Inscription. You found it. Something isn't right. I feel... Our connection. Breaking up. It's Nocturnal's... Oh... Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. I never expected to see you again. But you shouldn't have come here. These words of power, they aren't meant for mortal eyes. I'm an Earl in the Court of Bedlam now, so believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. That doesn't matter. What matters is that I want to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. 
If Lathan translates the language and gives Mephala the secret, she'll gain an advantage that could threaten my prince, Nocturnal. Speculate all you want. I'm here to give you a gift. Nocturnal has authorized me to provide you with the meaning of the mysterious phrase. The phrase the Right Master remembers. The words he keeps hearing. It's a spell to retrieve something hidden. I wasn't sure how I'd feel if I saw you or Naryu again. Balmora seems like a lifetime ago. And I am a new person since committing myself to nocturnal service. Arteum is only as isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed the Sea Slode and Mafala to invade the Sidjik Island. Then you took Lathan, an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, prisoner. A new life. More like a new prison. Serving at the feet of a Khajiit to become a slave to the High Elf Queen. No, that's not an existence I could bear. I felt abandoned. Lost. That's when Nocturnal offered to comfort me. Not the Morag Tong. Not a Khajiit guardian. Not even you. Belief doesn't make something true. You stopped me once, but I'm stronger now. More powerful. Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. The court isn't evil. We wouldn't be a part of something that didn't add to the greater good. When our princes are done, war and sickness will be eradicated. There will be true peace. Tell the right master, it's a spell of retrieval. I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl interfered like that. We're supposed to be allies. A spell. Interesting. And somehow connected to the Right Master's forgotten hiding place. I wonder why Nocturnal decided to share this information. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. Look, you should come back to Kapora Tower now. I just wish I could have spent a few moments studying that inscription. Well, seems the rumors are true. Eben Stadmont truly does twist around you. Aha! Now let's see. That voice again. Para Ekne. Past pathway? Daedra again? Ah, we don't have time for this.
The past revealed. Up the stairs. Take care of that thing before it takes care of us. Stars. I think he's coming too. Am I really an Aetherius? I didn't know they let your kind in here. We of the House of Reveries have no names, only masks. But you can call me Fletch. Because I Eben Stadmont. I'm sorry, but I, I just don't remember. I must have come here with my traveling troop, though. I will. Daedra? Mara's elbow, that doesn't sound good. Could you help me find my troop leader, Maestro Forte? I need... Forte! Is that you? Fletch! What's happened? The whole troop is looking for you. Grand Maestro Forte? Why, I had no idea you were an Eben Stadmont. Grand? Oh no, I'm simply Maestro Forte. Hardly worthy of the title Grand yet. It appears you've saved Fletch from the brink of death. It brings to mind the story of Tamarian, who of course was saved by the Nereids of... Ah, but now is not the time for such tales. Tell Daedra. I had no idea. Our watch did report some strange creatures prowling about at night, but I've heard of no other attacks. Something must be attracting them here. Did you just come from the temple? The only thing of note I discovered within the temple is a glowing stone in its main chamber. I've yet to translate the stone's inscription, but it may be attracting Daedra to it. Excellent. Why don't you and your companion head to the stone? Just... I know this is strange, 
But let's get to this stone. Perhaps it can answer some questions. The House of Reveries in Eben Stadmont? Why wouldn't I have heard about that? At first, I thought I was imagining it. Future's door. Drat. Well, I've realized where we are. A House of Reveries expedition I've never heard of. Grand Maestro Forte rebuffing his proper title. And the temple room where we found Fletch? It looked the same as the room we first entered, but there wasn't a cobweb or broken pew in sight. It means we ventured somewhere we never should have gone. The past. That's my theory, and I'd rather not explore further to find out. Affecting the past has far-reaching consequences. It may I can't be sure, in all honesty, but we have to try. This stone should lead us back to our natural time. All you need to do is keep that destination clearly in your mind. I've been hearing this voice since I first started translating these inscriptions. It must be some sort of magic, connected to the inscriptions. Oh, it is rather odd for a mysterious language to speak to anyone who reads it. The misdirecting nature of Eben Stadmont must have kept researchers from studying these inscriptions. That's... I'm not sure what to tell you. I do know that we have to return to our time, and quickly. It is quite intriguing. Grand Maestro Forte is the head of Somerset's greatest acting troupe, the House of Reveries. But I've also heard tale that he's a great academic as well, though perhaps I'm more familiar with his work than I thought. The research I've been using to help translate the language here came from an expedition that occurred around this time. Perhaps Maestro Forte wrote the very notes that led me here. Well, Fletch was very close to death, and I recall seeing bones in our present time, right where I found him injured. Most likely he was supposed to die. I'm almost glad I was so ignorant when I healed him. I don't... As I said earlier, changing the past has far-reaching consequences. For all I know, healing Fletch could have dire consequences to our present. Who's there? My Zarxis. It's... it's you. Years and years, and I never could find you. And here you are, back where it all began. Looking as if you haven't aged a day. So the stone did send you to the future, after all. I had feared the worst. That day I tried to follow after you and return to our original time. But the stone's magic faded, and the doorway closed. I was trapped within Eben Stadmont. For decades, I'd been studying this language and desperately searching for a way out. But my path would always lead me back here. But I did it. I finally found a way to go back. To... I must stop myself from ever going back in time. I've been wasting my life within this cursed forest. The Southern Stone. That's the key to... Wait, what's that? Is that Fletch? Fletch! Ah! 
I'm sorry, dear, but your role has been cut. The temple. You must go back. Go through the temple. The southern stone. They in a way tender. Little production. The play continues. I'll see you uh, soon. I suppose I have what I need. Well, I suppose it's curtain call. You finally figured it out. Well, and Derwin figured it out, didn't she? But hey, you put all the legwork in. And here you are, just in time to stop our leading lady from ever performing her starring role. Ah, but did you kill me? Truly? Not even an accomplished healer could bring me back? And yes, I did take part in Andewan's final scene. Or rather, I will. Andewan was the leading lady of our production. It was up to her to uncover the mysteries of Eben Stadmont. To find the true potential of its hidden power. But she found a way to escape and in her last breath told you the way back to the start. Sadly, yes. And so my part must end as well. I put on quite the performance, though, don't you think? The poor... Yes, our heroine should be just outside, if I remember correctly. After so many times around, though, I tend to lose track. I told you the very first time we met, I'm Fletch. I used to be a mere actor, but now I serve a greater force. I've served her for quite a while now, helping to find the true power of Eben Stadmont. What did Andoan call her? Ah, the spirit of the Sanctum. And don't bother asking me. Mostly because I have no idea. I would have died had the spirit not saved me. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I barely understand, and I've lived through it. And it's done now, in any case. You made sure of that. But I think the spirit learned enough. The language here, of course. You see, it's all rather tricky. 
Only mortals are able to use the language. That's what allowed you to travel through time after all. And Andewan was the perfect candidate to uncover its secrets. Yes, all our heroine needed was the proper motivation. made it to the temple. Oh, the temple is a trap? What do you mean? A book? Why, this is my handwriting. I've been trapped within this forest for decades now. Trapped within the past. My... Something trying to... My goodness. This is all so hard to wrap my head around. Yes, I agree. You've gone above and beyond protecting me during this expedition. Though the details seem a bit complicated, I suppose I did succeed in this expedition. The notes you've given me are written by my hand, after all. Though, of course, that me won't exist now since you've stopped me, and... I'm sure these notes will give me more details. The best thing to do now is share our findings with the Mages Guild. You know, it may be silly, but I suppose I came here to step out of his shadow. If I could be the one to crack Eben Stadmont, well, perhaps that would be enough. Tellinger is the one who makes brash decisions and puts us all in danger, and I'm the one who helps fix it. Yet as soon as I lead, I find myself in the same position as him. Oriandra, you should have consulted me beforehand. She saw an opportunity and she took it, Tychesis. Silence, Lathan. This escapade of yours could have been disastrous. What were you and Oriandra thinking, trusting Lathan to help us translate the ancient language? I observed what I could through Lathan's connection, but it seems to me that the Court of Bedlam is just trying to confuse us. What do you think? Should we trust Nocturnal's Earl or not? Then we're no better off than we were. Except now we have the Golden Knight. 
Let's proceed and hope for the best. No matter whether Nocturnal's Earl spoke truth or lies, we need to recover the heart of transparent law. That, my friend, would be a mistake. Somerset's ancient defenses have withered since the transparent law crystal was broken and the heart removed. I'm sure that it is. But in that certainty, we gain an advantage. You'll be at my side when we locate the heart, and you'll be... I remember I tried to resist the Sea Slot's compulsion and was able to maintain a sliver of control. I remember... I remember using what control I still possessed to foil Katora's plans. I recall forging a bargain with someone. Someone I have no memory of. <laughs>